This looks like a pretty safe room. Hey what is going on you guys my name is Subzero Extabyte and I am shooting right back at you with another Roblox video and what do we have here? This looks like a pretty safe room. Oh no never mind we are falling down down in an early round and sugar we are going down swinging. That was Fallout Boy and we were falling out of the air boy so that was the annual daily pun of the day right there for you free of charge today only but yeah okay i actually have no idea what just happened and i have no idea what to do here or where i even am right now if anyone of you guys has any idea then please hit me up because i am lost right now okay so good sir will you please tell me what i should be doing here because i literally have no idea what to do oh okay so I should just go on the traps and enjoy a fair and nice death. Okay, that sounds fair. Oh wait a second did you actually say death? Well, I must have heard that wrong or something. At least it would be weird to me that he actually wanted me to accept my own death on one of these freaking random traps here. Wait what is this balloon doing? This balloon is inflating. Hello can someone please help me with this thing because I cannot breath right now and that is kind of a problem for me. Okay that was really random to say the least. But there is more to life than chasing ghosts so let's go find a way out of here before I actually end up hurting myself even more. Or like that guy just said, I could actually just end up accepting my death and wait for it to happen by standing on one of those little traps and then just accept my fair death. But no that does not really sound that fair to me. Since I actually do not get anything in return for accepting my death in that case and that is not something that i am okay with i mean i am okay with a lot of things and i would be down for doing a lot of my own stunts and stuff like that i mean i am not some kind of a barbie but that does not mean that i am just going to give up on life and end it right here because some but wife just told me that i should just accept all of it and get done with it but that is not happening so i'm guessing that this whole room is filled to the brim with traps which means that i should not be going on them. I mean it is not like they are that hidden or something. It is just a pretty bad situation to be in. But then again that kind of shows that you should not just be entering random rooms that you think are safe. Because then fast forward 2 minutes and you end up in the same boat as me in a room filled with traps and some guy who is telling you that you should be accepting a fair and nice death. Well that is something that I do not want to be dealing with. But right now I will kind of have to do this. And on the other side I would rather not have to be here. But now that I'm here I am going to make the best of it because I just want you guys to be all done for today so that you can actually make sure that you do not end up in the same spot as me. And if you do end up ending up in the same spot as me. Well then I am going to be here for you to show you how to move on through something like this. And since I do not have any idea on how to get through this, I think that we will just be finding that out on the way. Which is kind of cool. But then on the other side it will be kind of hard because other than surviving around here, I still have no idea what I should be doing. At least I know one thing that I will not be doing. And well that would be dying. I am not going to accept a fair and nice death because I still have a lot of work to do and there is just no time for me to start dying today. So I did not die yesterday, nor the day before that. So I am not starting out now. Even though I know that I might not be having full control over that because this is actually kind of hard. And by this, I of course mean that the surviving is kind of hard when the room you are in is filled with booby traps and death machines. I wonder who came up with something like this and hit all of this with some kind of room that just falls down once someone enters it and they are going to be fully bamboozled at that point and are going to get their butts kicked in this little dirt hole here. I actually do wonder about all of the functions that these things have, because some are looking rather sophisticated to me right now. Maybe I should test one out real quick, because as you might know by now, I am all about the testing and testing of stuff you know. I love testing everything that comes on my path. Oh my god would you look at this. This is why we are here. Oh my god we are flying around. This is not a good situation to be in right now. I wonder if there are more people who have experienced something like this. Because I am pretty sure that this might just be a one of a kind experience that has been reserved just for me so that I could be the one who got to suffer for all of this today. And of course when I say something like that I end up as a ketchup stain on the wall. Well that is just great.
But at least now we have got to know and understand what that thing does to a Roblox character. And since I have got the right experience right now, I can honestly say that that was an experience that I would like to never ever have again because that was really bad to have to deal with. Bit that might just be me. I mean some people like to get their stuff handed to them like that. But not me no poor favor I am not like that at all. And before you start saying that I am some kind of a wooz, well maybe I am. But if being a wooz means that I get to stay alive well then I would suggest that I'm not afraid of being a wooz. Because I am all about that living life. And when I am dead well that means that I cannot live. Which makes me a non-liver. And I am not about that non-liver life. So like I said. If that makes me a wooze, then I would gladly be a wooze if that counts for anything anymore. I bet it does. I just hope that you guys are not going to be holding that against me for the rest of my natural born life. But I mean we cannot have it all. At least it seems like I cannot have it all. I am not sure about the rest of the people who live in this life. Because they might be living a lot different than me and I am not about to judge people who I do not even know just because I am not seeing eye to eye with them. And if you would like to know something, the only thing that I do not see eye to eye with, would be death. And that is not because I am scared of death, but it is because I am scared of not living. Because come on you guys, how bad would it be if I was not living life anymore? And someone would just be living it for me, or that I will day and I would actually never be able to start living life again. Oh my god I have just opened a loophole in my mind and I am not sure if I can actually help any of this right now. It looks like my mind has found a train of thought that I can hop right now. Which is not too bad because it is a good kind of distraction for me right now. Because except for the constant fear of not living, I actually would have nothing better to do, and I would probably just start getting bored in an instance. So right now I am just going to make sure that I have got something to do, but before I can actually do something like that, well that means that I should be holding on to that and never let go because before you know it, all of this is over and I am back in Roblox or Minecraft just enjoying life and stuff like that. And it will be the best thing. But right now after all that has happened until this point, I am still just walking around here with no way out and nowhere to run to. So I have been getting pretty hungry from all of the walking around right now. But would you look at that? Is that a real hamburger? Well right now I do not even care because I would just need something to help me out right now. Because I am starving. But right now starving is not one of my main concerns. So I am just going to go out and get some fresh air instead of eating a hamburger that might just be trapped there. And why am I flying right now? I just wanted to be getting some fresh air and I just end up getting filled with helium and flying away into the wind. Or gone with the wind. Whichever you guys would prefer for me to use. Wait can I actually even do something around here or am I just starting to get bamboozled at this point? Which would be a bad thing for me because I am not into jokes. But I guess that getting stripped from my clothes is not a thing that totally sucks for me. And I do not like that at all. So let's just get back and go do something else. I mean what can we actually do inside of this place instead of just hanging around here just checking stuff out. And basically doing nothing other than dying because of all of these great traps. I mean come on you guys. When someone goes about making something like this. And this is a so called fallout shelter type of deal. So that means that I am just going to be as close to death as everyone else. But I will have to go out and find out where I have even got all of those freaking things from. Because I will not going to be permanent death, because that is not who I am and who am I. I can hear you asking. Well I do not care at all, because I am going to be a lot of things at the same time right now. I am going to be playing a lot of roles which I could not even be filling right now but it just feels like really something that I should not be doing right now. But then again what is a better way than to just go at it full control right now. And I mean I do not really care about all of the flying that I am doing because I have got to be practicing with the best to become the best and I am the best so when I am dancing with myself aka the best dancer so that means that I'm the best and I am fighting myself who is the best and I am coming out in a vicious cycle where I will always be and stay the best for the rest of my life so a long story short the more that I'm floating or flying or just I do now know just do something in general and it will make them pissed and stuff. At least I know that when I am done with all of this, then I will not be doing anything like this anymore. But not be you guys, because I am going to be the second best YouTuber of all time. And of course that would be Dennis. Oh, our pie.
I have not decided yet but let me tell you that I really like to be the best at some thing so I'm going to just give you a smack in the back of the head right now okay I will just be needing some time to adjust to all of this because I am getting sick and tired of doing this for other people all day darn long so I know I can't do much about all of this but I do have to go through a few more traps guys I am wondering if I ever get to see the end of the tunnel someday you know what I am talking about some signs of improvement in a situation like like this, that has been bad for a long time, which it is right now, or signs that a long and difficult piece of work is almost finished. Luckily this is almost finished, or well, I hope it is because it isn't exactly fun to die. This last trap I just used, is utterly ridiculous guys. Although I must say it is effective but can't the creator think of something else? I mean come on, using a bait, and it wasn't even a bait, I just stepped on a slab and then four walls suddenly appear and some kind of spikes come out of them. I can't really tell if the creators just wanted an effective trap or they wanted to scare the victim because I was not really scared but maybe that is because I know I can respawn again. Yay! I think that is why I wasn't scared at all. I believe the next trap is going to kill me. Haha! <laughs> just like the other traps. I mean, I am trying to think of a trap which does not kill you. How about the tickle trap? But that one would probably tickle you to death so that means you will die anyway. How would they create this trap? I know what I would do. But I would create a non-lethal trap anyway. My trap would not kill the victim but tickle the victim for a very long time. For example, I create some sort of bait and use that to attract the victim. But for the trap, I am going to use a rope. The rope will be invisible to the victim. Hopefully. The victim will step on the rope which will be strapped around his legs. Immediately after the ropes are strapped, he or she will be put in a glass tube. That would prevent the victim from fleeing although he or she can't really flee with a rope strapped around their feet. But as soon as they are put inside the tube, I will release a non-lethal gas which will tickle. And it will tickle their feet but eventually, it will tickle everywhere. From nose to knee guys. And that will last for about one hour because, after such a long time, the victim will probably be unconscious. What do you guys think about that? I do believe that it is a wonderful idea. An idea only a real genius can come up with. That means that I am a genius of course. But besides that guys this trap takes longer than expected because I am not dying. Two guys are running towards me but they can't kill me because I keep jumping on top of their heads. I do like this one because this trap really gives me a chance. Although, I think this trap lets me think that I still have a chance of surviving but I actually have not. That is pretty smart I must say. I think I could have come up with this kind of trap if I was a killer. But I am not so I would never make such a trap. Maybe with some alterations, I would do it. In a survival situation, traps can capture animals that provide us precious calories from meat and fat. Think of them as little hunters that you put out to do your work for you while you are off accomplishing other tasks. There are seemingly as many different traps as there are creatures to catch. There is a trap which I often use. It is called the drowning rope. I called it that way because it is cool. Maybe I am going to name all of these traps that I died in recently, but not right now. This simple trap can acquire food for you and put the critter out of its misery faster than other traps. The drowning snare requires a snare line with a nose, a heavy rock, a floating stick, and a stick to prop up the rock in a precarious position. This is often the easiest trap to set, providing you have a steep banked waterway that is frequented by creatures of habit, using the same runs to get in the water over and over. Pretty cool right? Now, this trap would be used in all kinds of situations because if you think about it, you know that your boy Sub-Zero X to bite here is not going to figure out a trap that has only one single purpose. I mean come on who do you think I am? Coral? Dennis? Alex? Sketch? I mean they could come up with cool traps too I'm sure. But I think that we can all agree on the fact that Sub here is the one who makes the best of the best traps and with it I mean like the super best of the best best traps know what I'm saying? I mean it's fabulous. That's how good it is. I call it the multi-purpose trap. This trap is really useful and it does not simply kill someone or something. Unlike this last trap where I was squeezed to death. Believe me, guys, it is not so very nice. One of the worst traps there is is the heater. You can probably guess what kind of trap this is guys. This one will heat up and you will slowly turn into a 4th of July turkey.
That is something nobody wants right? At least I do not want that. I don't want to be the one who gets eaten at the 4th of July so I can make some more videos. Because if there is one single thing I like doing it's creating videos so we have to be sure that I can keep doing that forever right? Yeah that's right I am very glad you get me. Now I will end this one by gladly saying that I survived the horrible traps here and I can say for sure that I will see you guys in the next video.